Most people think substances change how you feel, but the truth is simpler and darker. They change how your brain works. They don't create real happiness, confidence, or clarity. They only imitate it by manipulating chemicals your brain relies on to function. This video isn't about encouraging or demonizing anything. It's about understanding why your brain falls for these feelings and why the price you pay always shows up later. Today, we'll break down 12 substances and what they actually do to your brain through the lens of psychology and neuroscience. Because the more you understand your mind, the harder it is for anything, chemical or emotional, to control you. 1. Caffeine Caffeine doesn't give you real energy. It temporarily hides tiredness. When caffeine reaches your brain, it blocks adenosine, the chemical that naturally signals fatigue. Your neurons fire faster, your heart rate rises, your focus sharpens, and for a brief moment, the world seems clearer and more organized. But this clarity is not true alertness. It is a delayed fatigue response. When the effect fades, adenosine returns all at once. You feel irritated, unfocused, and mentally slow. Over time, your brain adapts. It reduces its natural alertness signals because it expects caffeine to do the work. This is why many people say they can't start the day without coffee. Psychologically, caffeine becomes a ritual. The brain associates the first sip with productivity, momentum, and the feeling of being ready. You're not attached to the drink itself. You're attached to the version of you that you believe appears after drinking it. 2. Nicotine Nicotine acts extremely fast because it creates a sharp dopamine spike. Within seconds, your mind becomes quieter and more focused. Stress softens. Thoughts become clearer. Your brain interprets this as relief. But nicotine burns out quickly. As the dopamine Fade. tension rises again. You don't want another hit for pleasure. You want it to stop the growing discomfort. This is the core loop of nicotine. Relief, tension, craving, relief. A cycle that tricks the mind into believing the substance brings calm, while it actually maintains stress. Over time, your brain learns that relaxation only exists between cravings. Everything without nicotine feels dull or slightly off. Psychologically, this creates a form of dependency, where the brain expects relief from something that constantly resets its own withdrawal. 3. Alcohol Alcohol slows activity in the brain and nervous system, but early on, it feels the opposite. At the beginning, your thoughts soften, your body relaxes, you feel socially open and emotionally lighter. For a moment, it feels like connection is easier and the world becomes less sharp. But as the effects grow stronger, judgment fades and emotional reactions intensify. You may feel confident, expressive, and convinced you're fully in control, even when coordination and regulation are declining. Later, the comedown arrives. Your brain struggles to rebalance itself. You feel drained, dehydrated, and mentally foggy. This is the brain trying to recover from being slowed down. Psychologically, alcohol often becomes a coping tool, used to silence thoughts, reduce social anxiety, or escape uncomfortable feelings. Over time, the brain begins to expect alcohol as a shortcut to relaxation, which is why dependence can quietly form even in normal social situations. 4. Cannabis Cannabis alters how the brain processes sensory information. Colors appear stronger, sounds feel deeper, time slows down, thoughts stretch out, and emotions can shift more easily. For some people, this brings a sense of calm and comfort. 
For others, especially in certain environments or emotional states, it can create confusion, anxiety, or heightened self-awareness. Regular use can dull motivation and weaken short-term memory. This doesn't happen because the brain is damaged, but because cannabis changes how the brain rewards relaxation. It becomes a quick path to feeling calm, even when that calm is not connected to real recovery or rest. Psychologically, the brain starts to link cannabis with the feeling of switching off, making natural relaxation feel less accessible without it. 5. Cocaine Cocaine triggers an intense dopamine surge, not gradually, but instantly. The brain becomes overloaded with pleasure and confidence signals. You feel alert, sharp, and extremely capable. Every thought seems meaningful. Every movement feels efficient. But this high is short-lived, and the crash that follows is equally intense. Anxiety rises quickly. Motivation collapses. Fatigue appears suddenly. Your brain goes from overstimulation to emptiness. Psychologically, cocaine teaches your brain that high performance comes from intensity, not effort, rest, or skill. It replaces natural confidence with artificial confidence. And as the crash deepens, the mind wants more just to feel normal again. 6. MDMA MDMA boosts serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin. This creates a deep sense of emotional warmth and social connection. During the peak, music feels richer, lights feel softer, touch becomes more meaningful, everyone around you feels closer, almost like a shared emotional experience. But MDMA burns through serotonin quickly. When levels drop, emotions lose intensity. You may feel empty, tired, or disconnected. This is not a personality shift. It's serotonin depletion. Psychologically, MDMA amplifies the feeling of belonging. It creates a temporary illusion of deep emotional unity. But when the chemical support fades, the contrast can feel sharp making normal social interaction feel flatter in comparison. 7. LSD LSD changes how the brain interprets reality itself. Patterns shift. Colors intensify. Sounds feel layered. Time becomes flexible instead of fixed. During the peak, your sense of self can dissolve. This makes experiences feel profound. Emotions, memories, and sensations blend together in unusual ways. LSD isn't physically addictive, but it is unpredictable. The same dose can create clarity in one moment and fear in another, depending on mindset and environment. Psychologically, LSD affects how the mind forms meaning. It makes internal thoughts feel external, and external sensations feel symbolic. This can leave people believing they discovered something significant, even when the experience was created by altered perception rather than insight. 8. Ketamine Ketamine disrupts the brain's ability to integrate sensory information. As it takes effect, your surroundings feel distant. Your body feels lighter or heavier than it actually is. Thoughts feel separated from physical sensations. At the peak, people often describe a strong sense of detachment. It may feel like floating, watching yourself from outside, or stepping away from normal consciousness. When the effect fades, awareness returns slowly. The mind feels foggy, as if thoughts are moving through liquid. Psychologically, ketamine becomes a strong escape mechanism. It creates distance from reality, which can feel comforting for people under stress. But the more the brain escapes, the harder everyday life can feel. 9. Opioids Opioids mimic the brain's natural pain relief chemicals. The effect is deep comfort. Warmth spreads through the body. Stress dissolves. Pain fades. 
everything slows in a way that feels safe and controlled. But this comfort has a limit. Breathing slows. Thoughts drift. Awareness decreases. Over time, the brain's reward and survival systems reorganize themselves around opioid use. Withdrawal becomes sharp and overwhelming. Muscle pain, nausea, sweating, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. Psychologically, opioids replace emotional soothing with chemical soothing. This makes natural comfort feel unreachable, pushing the brain to rely more on the substance and less on its own coping systems. 10. Methamphetamine Meth produces a massive release of dopamine and adrenaline. Energy increases rapidly. Focus intensifies. Tasks feel urgent and meaningful. Sleep seems unnecessary. Ideas feel powerful. But this is overdrive, not clarity. As dopamine runs out, the crash is harsh. Exhaustion, emotional emptiness, and in severe cases, paranoia or delusional thinking. Psychologically, meth simulates extreme productivity. It tricks the mind into believing it is achieving more than it actually is. But the brain pays the cost through depletion, insomnia, and long-term emotional instability. 11. Psilocybin Psilocybin shifts how the brain organizes perception. Patterns ripple. Colors feel alive. Emotions rise in ways that can feel meaningful or overwhelming. During the peak, people often experience a strong sense of connection to nature, to memories, or to internal thoughts. Time becomes fluid and experiences blend together. Psilocybin isn't physically addictive, but it can open emotional content that the mind isn't prepared to process. Psychologically, psilocybin reveals what is already inside you. It does not create new truths. It magnifies internal states that may feel profound, but are still shaped by perception rather than objective clarity. 12. Benzodiazepines Benzodiazepines enhance GABA, the chemical responsible for slowing neural activity. Within minutes, your body loosens. Your breathing slows, your thoughts quiet down. The world feels less intense and easier to manage. But as tolerance rises, the brain reduces its own ability to produce calm. This makes normal stress feel heavier than before. Stopping suddenly can lead to intense withdrawal, shaking, anxiety, difficulty sleeping, and in serious cases, seizures. Psychologically, benzodiazepines teach the mind that peace comes from the substance, not from emotional regulation. The brain becomes dependent on external calm instead of building internal stability. Every substance in this list shares one thing in common. None of them create pleasure. They borrow it from the version of you that exists tomorrow. They hijack chemical systems meant for survival, connection, clarity, and rest, turning them into shortcuts with long-term costs. Understanding how these systems work doesn't make you judgmental. It makes you aware. Because the more you understand your brain, the harder it is for anything, chemical, emotional, or psychological, to control you. If you found value in understanding how these substances shape the mind, you might want to explore more about how your habits, emotions, and thoughts quietly rewire your brain every day. This channel is all about that. The psychology behind the choices we make and the invisible patterns that guide us without us noticing. If you'd like to keep learning, feel free to subscribe or watch another video from the channel. There's always more to uncover about the way your mind works.